Pirate Software pledges to give moderators and staff full-time salary and benefits. Why, hello. One could hardly accuse game developer and Twitch, Twitch streamer Pirate Software of being your standard influencer. Just look at the banana suit. And another move that breaks the mold, he's announced a significant step in improving the quality of life for his moderators and employees alike. Streamers with legions of employees below them, legions of employees, okay, um, aren't exactly <laughs> uncommon. Even the most bare bones professional streamer requires stream moderators to keep everything running smoothly. With personal needs only rising the larger the operation grows, editors, social media managers, brand managers, oh God, I, I, I nah, brand managers would hate me. As the name implies, it's also a game developer as part of a tiny three person team that runs a ferret rescue that will be expanding and hiring more staff in the near future. Okay, but Pirate Software recently posted on Hey, I still hate how they say X, formerly Twitter. Yeah. And that his moderators and other stuff are being hired as full-time employees for those living in the US. This means they'll be getting benefits such as medical, dental, vision, and life insurance, as well as company retirement plan on top of their full-time wages. International contractors are also getting a hefty pay bump to ensure neither party necessarily has it better than the other. And one can only hope even bigger streamers will follow his example. Although his employees are no doubt overjoyed, fan response has been mixed. Many Reddit comments worry about the long-term sustainability of the business model, with more cynicals declaring that it will only last until the donations slow down. Some of the most extreme among them take issue with the fact that international workers will get paid a US living wage, apparently viewing it as unfair. Still others, sorry, still others are using this as an excuse to bash the guy personally, with one Redditor writing off the game development streams as talking out of his ass while patting himself on the back. Well, Dude, that's um, I certainly, love... hold on, hold on, that's a certainly fucking interesting development of all things, isn't it? Dude, I love how shitty streamers go after the cool ones. It's so fucking funny. You're just jealous that you did, either didn't do it yourself or now you just look like a fucking scumbag. For not paying your mods, it's it always happens. You're you're getting mad that someone's making bank because it's a little bit more money because the US is probably worth a bit more in in their country, right? But realistically, that they're, they're still getting paid the same amount as any other worker. It's just since it's in their currency, it's still a bit more. But if they were to buy anything from the US, it's still the same. So it's like. Why the fuck you hating? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, the whole yeah. getting paid in USD. No, that's not a problem. That's not a problem at all. Why no, that's a, if you don't live in the US, that's a really great problem to have. Yeah, yeah. I know, right? Oh no, please don't um, pay me in US dollars. Please don't. Oh, I'd hate that. Yeah. I would hate I'd rather get paid that. in fucking pesos, bro. <laughs> but I think I think the, the, the problem people are saying there is that like because he's paying them like let's say two grand two grand in dollars a month, that the, if you're living out in like Bulgaria, for example um you're gonna get so much more out of that two grand than yeah. someone who's getting two grand a month in the u.s but i mean that's just so, how it is there's that's also not the it. disadvantages of having to live in bulgaria <laughs> true no problem happy. yeah but uh, people yeah. in the u.s are getting like a retirement fund and yeah uh, medical and and care, shit as well. yeah. Yeah. yeah you're probably and, uh, actually getting less if you're in outside the u.s but you're yeah. getting this amount of cash, so you can choose what to do with that cash, right? Yep. <laughs> either way, you're not getting fucked. Either way, you're getting full-time salary for modding. Like, that's a pretty... That, that's that's a lit. Sweet deal. Yeah. Dude. Most most Dude. people don't even pay their mods part-time. No. And I'm talking about big streams. Big what? Big streams. Yeah. yeah. yeah like, does XQC pay his mods? Does... Uh, Nick know. Merckx? Does fucking... No. Oh, no, no, it's a... Uh, it's, uh, it's like a thing that you gotta volunteer for. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, so you expect me to fucking uh, sit around uh, all day, fucking uh, fuck? And then if they don't show up to the stream, they get fucking, they lose their mods. It's like, brother, listen, m these motherfuckers have like full time jobs because you don't want to pay them. And you, they, dude, Nick Merckx, let's be honest, and some of these bigger ones, they could probably pay a little bit if they oh, want yeah. it full time. Like, a lot of these guys gotta remember they actually have a life so it's like you can't get up them especially if you're not paying them if you're paying them it's like okay you should be here right that's your job right but 
If, if they if it's just voluntary, like oh I'm just modern, yeah, nah, fuck them. Well, but how do you feel about this, Nas? You think this is pretty cool? I think it's really good. I think it's a really good move. Here's the way I will reign on the parade: is it's not his, it's not Pirate Software's fault. I'm wondering now if people are going to start setting a standard of like, why don't you pay your mods to people who earn like two hundred yeah. bucks a month? Yeah, like, that's yeah. what I'm worried about. Is he, like he set the standard? You should pay your mods. It's like I don't have enough to pay my fucking self. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, so yeah. that's one worry, like an unintended consequence. Well, here's yeah. here's here's the thing. You're always going to get people who are going to be dicks on either side, right? You're always going to have streamers that can afford to do it and probably should with the amount of work their mods are doing for them, uh, but they choose not to. For whatever reason, either it slips their mind, pure greed, uh, or they really just don't give a shit. And then you're going to get the people who expect that, uh, you know, you're not even monetized on Twitch or hmm. on Kick, but somehow you should be paying your mods, who are probably just people you know, and somehow, yeah. and then they're going to use you as a way of doing a, a moral grandstanding. It was going to happen no matter what. It's just something you got to live with. You just got to ignore those people when they do shit like that. Well, he's in a position where he can do this as well. And I would imagine there's quite a lot of people behind the scenes that you don't see. Oh, dude. And that's the it's case with all, like, when you think of, like, the big, big streamers. You know what? Not even the... the fuck, I have Skirmitar and Reaper that help edit. Mm -hmm. Right? But when you think of, like, the right-at-the-top guys, man, they got, like, full-blown teams, man. There's, like, fuck knows how many people are standing in front of... Well, sorry, behind Dr. Disrespect's camera on the yeah. other end, man, that are helping yeah. him run shit. They get people to actually build sets and shit so they can stream, right? They get... Fucking, they have assistant. Yeah, it, it's crazy. Yeah, they'll, like, have, they, they'll, they'll have like someone look over their schedule and shit. I guarantee you, Pokemon probably has he, a secretary. Tim literally mm. has a guy that's always there when he streams, ready to do computer shit. What's his name? Uh, fucking, I forget his name, but they, like he's always there when Tim's Whips. streaming. He, Whips, yeah, he's always everyone makes there. jokes about him molesting him. Like, <laughs> leave, yeah. leave, leave, leave Whips alone, Nick. Someone saying like, oh, well, this is only going to last as long as the donations keep coming in. It's like, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's how it works. Here's, 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 a, here's some breaking news for, for people that might not understand this. But if you have a business and the money stops coming into your business, you can no longer afford to operate business. And you have yeah, to cut costs or even sell your business it's... or completely shut your business down. Here's yeah, an yeah. interesting thing about pirate software as well. So the donations go into his corporate bank account so he's i depending on where his corporation is located he may actually be making more money off of the donations than if he was just an individual accepting these donations especially when he got all that money during the like gifted sub hype train stuff that yeah. for sure he's going to be paying less in corporation tax right and it makes it easier to hire employees if you already have a corporation set up. Well, here's yeah. another thing on top of that as well. This dude's a game developer. So mm -hmm. there's, he's selling games and working on games. So there's more money coming in as well. Yep. Yep. And him just being the face, like he, he's at this stage now where you can say, hey, Pirate Software, help me make my game. I would love to see more streamers just take this initiative of Pay, and not necessarily even full-time salary like if you can't afford it don't afford it. but if you have the money to to be able to pay part-time you know do it and, and it's like the mods will be very thankful for the fact that now they're getting a part-time salary for for yep. you know work and sometimes on these bigger streams with all the spam it can be very like Oh, the what the hell are you doing? You got to get rid of the spam link like right now before a million people click on it, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, and here's something as well. This is one of Kick's many promises they made that they are yet, if ever, to fulfill on. There was a time when Kick was talking about something similar to this, where they said that there would be the opportunity from a streamer in the back end of their own channel where yeah. they could set it up so mods can actually get a cut out of a streamer's payment at the end of the month.